What's up everyone? Today's video is a tutorial for fun and fruity crystal watermelon nails. If you don't have rhinestones, I'll add some options at the end to change this up as well. The colors I used for this look are fuchsia, green, and light pink. I used a wedge makeup sponge to make the gradient and a fine holographic glitter topper. For the crystal seeds, I added a few teardrop shaped rhinestones that can be found online and I used an eyeliner pencil to pick up and place those rhinestones. I also applied nail barrier so the gradient mess would be easier to clean up. And of course, we can't forget our base and top coat to start and finish the look. Let's first apply base coat. To make the pink gradient pop, I'm adding a single coat of the light pink cream polish. And since gradients are pretty messy, I'm applying nail barrier around the skin. Also, I'm not really sure why they call it nail barrier. Shouldn't this be called skin barrier? So now I'm going to take my wedge makeup sponge and I'm adding two bands of color, one in the darker fuchsia pink and the other with my lighter pink. Now let's add a thin layer of the color gradient and then we'll let it dry for a minute or so and then add a second layer of color. Okay, let's peel off the nail barrier. And clearly I didn't use enough and I'll fix that missing patch of pink at the top of the nail. Next, I'm going to add a thin French tip with the green nail polish, and you can definitely use a nail vinyl here or a piece of painter's tape to help guide you, but today I'm just gonna try to wing it. And since the theme for this look is crystals and sparkle, I'm going to add a single layer of China Glaze Fairy Dust. And this is still one of my all-time favorite glitter nail polishes. I think you can find this online. And it's almost as if we're adding sugar on top of my favorite watermelon gummy candies, which are basically crack. For a unique look, I added teardrop shaped rhinestones to represent the little watermelon seeds. And here I'm using an eyeliner pencil to pick up and place them onto my still wet glitter nail polish. And if you want the rhinestones to stay on for a while, use nail glue to anchor them instead. And I know sometimes it's difficult to find rhinestones in actual physical stores, but there's always toothpicks and black nail polish. To make seeds, just add teardrop shapes with a toothpick or make the end blunt by cutting off the tip with scissors and then make black dots. To seal in the rhinestones and set the entire look, I'm going to add top coat. What if I want a different look? Here's our original color palette with crystals and sparkles. If you don't have glitter or rhinestones, add a simple gradient and use black seeds for your design. And if you don't have sponges, the easiest way to make a watermelon is a solid pink or red, then add green tips and black seeds with a toothpick. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Hey, did did they click like? If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. Cause we have no thumbs. <laughs> please subscribe. Bye.